it's my hand again and yeah that's enough of that hi how you doing about it. on hmm. hello computer how are you today trying to think. After all the weird things I've dreamed of, or had dreams of, and then talked about it, would anybody even think it's weird anymore? Nah, who am I kidding? After all the weird shit, why not? There was a diamond heist, or rather, an idiot fighting over a diamond that it didn't own. That was really weird. Mostly because a family member was involved, and I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, huh? I don't know why I think that part's weird. I've had weirder dreams and talked about them before. So I'm still waiting for people to say something about uh, that one thing I propositioned to everybody. I think that would be funny.
for everyone uh, who didn't keep track of it. YouTube TV featured live TV from 70 plus networks. $49.99 per month. Terms apply. Let's see. How long did it take YouTube to turn into a uh, cable network? <laughs> that's that's fifty dollars plus tax each month for people who are gonna buy college football. Fox Sundays, AMC, The CW, TNT, another variation of AMC, USA, another variation of Fox. All sorts of cable and satellite networks. yet YouTube, Google, and Alphabet don't want to pay their creators and I'm not talking about me I'm talking about people up at the top PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, they don't want to pay them jack shit anymore yet they want to take your money to watch fucking cable and satellite networks double standard hypocrisy much there we go I have to move my thingy to click on a thingy to get to a place Come on, YouTube, Google, Alphabet, whatever the fuck you want to be called. This bureaucratization and corporatization of everyone's fucking freedom. <coughs> this is bullshit. Was it, uh... Four or five years ago, there was that big uh, nonsense about the terms of service and um, getting into the partnership program, which I was validated on and kicked out of like four or five times consecutively. <laughs> along with uh, a lot of other people and then the scams and scandals the the bullshit adpocalypses where the Wall Street Journal wanted to pitch a bitch fit and ever get everyone to blame pewds come on grow the fuck up All of that is because Susan Widgey bitch is in charge. And yeah, she is a bitch. Listen, you, you can't be clogged like this. Let it all out. There you go, that's a bit better. And speaking of things that are all blase, 
in the past two days I have selected show less like this on that ninja streamer bullshit no less than ten fucking times Microsoft I don't want to see that piece of shit streaming. I don't fucking care about it. Stop shoving it down my throat. If you keep on fucking doing it, I'll just go to the bitch's channel and keep reporting it until you kick it the fuck off Mixer like it got its ass kicked off of Twitch, okay? I don't want to see that shit. I'm giving you feedback telling you I don't want to fucking see it. Now I'm sitting here in a video telling you I don't want to fucking see it. I don't give a fuck about playing Fortnite because they change this shit all the fucking time. They had that airplane thing in it. That was fun. Me and my buddy enjoyed that. Then they took it out afterwards. I'm like, okay, fuck it. I think I've said this before. Yeah, for, for all game devs out there, it is your responsibility. It, it is your heavy burden to uphold a few principles. The the first and foremost, the most important, is the enjoyment of the gamer. What the United States Declaration of Independence calls the unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness. And if you can't do that, get the fuck out of the, the industry. If uh, your publishers are being bitches and saying, oh, you have to do it our way. If Microsoft's being a bitch and saying, oh, you have to do it our way. Yeah, point them to this, this moment in this video. If you can't, do what's right because what's, it's what's right. Then just go fucking kill yourselves. It's a whole mess of bullshit what's going on right now. The government wants to take taxes off of game purchases and they've already got that set up. That's bullshit. You tax people just because they're alive. You charge a property tax after they buy and own the fucking property. Come the fuck on. You don't need that much fucking money. All you bureaucrats, politicians, you want you want money? Get a real fucking job, okay? Sitting at a desk, telling people to pay you money just because they're alive, that's not a real job. Well, who am I kidding? Nobody's gonna fucking listen. pushing the, the standard civilian and citizen until until civil unrest reaches hypercritical levels and it's already hit critical I mean just look at your mass shootings look at the riots in France <clears throat> Man, look at the uh, the bullshit between people in the uh, Arabic nations. I mean, come on, you're all fucking people. You all live on this planet together. The fuck are you going at each other's throats for? I'm looking at you, North and South Korea. The fuck is your goddamn problem?
you all keep acting like you're separate like you're so much better than the dude across the fucking street from you said stuff like this before nobody gives a shit yeah and it's all relative and relevant people in charge are thinking oh we're so much better than these plebs people with money think they're so much better than everyone else people in different countries think that they're better than people in other countries thinking you're better is just actually making you worse. I mean, that's how your world wars got started. You thought you were better than someone else. <clears throat> that's how the American Civil War got started. People in one section of the, the early country thought they were better than people in the other section. History keeps repeating itself because you don't listen and learn from it. And yeah, you've all noticed history repeats itself. Yeah? Well, did you ever stop and ask why? It's because you don't listen and learn from it. games go I would I wonder if the devs had been open and honest about what happens when you do glitches in games from the beginning would things be different and would glitch culture not be as widespread as it is <clears throat> I've actually seen some of the coding and, and what happens when you do glitches. It, um, it basically turns the coding into scrambled eggs. I don't even know how to describe it in detail. <coughs> uh, the best I can come up with is two lines of code and uh, they're both involved in whatever glitch you're doing when you do the glitch it overlaps them it takes them out of place and sort of blends them together like uh, cramming a bunch of stuff in a blender to make a smoothie Now, I, I originally thought, you know, if you're playing a game straight from a disc, it's not really a problem because the disc, it's hardware. The coding isn't going to merge together on the disc. But in, in the console or computer's CPU, it does get meshed together. And even though, you know, saving, quitting, and then reloading the disk in fixes that problem, or at least I'm theorizing that it does, because it may reset it by rereading it. Digital games don't have that luxury. They don't have the luxury of being a, a hard copy as a reference point 
just in case uh, a glitch scrambles the code. Whether everyone's going to listen or not is irrelevant at this point. It simply has to be said for me. Just some things weighing on my mind. about it. Just needed to get some things off my mind again. So I originally started watching YouTube because there weren't commercials in it. Advertisements, commercials, they're the exact same thing. But then they put those commercials and ads on YouTube. Now well, here's something else to think about. <laughs> But things have turned out differently if YouTube had chosen to say okay here's a couple of choices which one do you like paying the company uh, a fucking five dollar fee each month to have a, a membership having a donate to the, the company and a donate to your favorite creator option where you can select whatever amount and go through whatever credit card or uh, internet link that you want to use to transfer the funds. Had things gone that way, would they be different? Would the bureaucratization and corporatization of YouTube have taken longer, or would it not exist at all? paying like five dollars a month for a membership that would have kept the site going right yeah it would have progressed a lot slower with people jumping on and they wouldn't have wanted to fuck around and do stupid shit so often because hey yeah I'm paying for this I shouldn't be doing stupid shit but the sunk cost fallacy to good use training people not to be dipshit fuckwits and donating to whatever youtuber that you like well that would have benefited them maybe it would have taken longer to get stupid bullshit like commercials in and the bureaucratization and corporatization maybe that would have taken longer who am I kidding myself? It would have happened. Because fucking humans. Be a radical change for YouTube to go okay 
we're ditching advertisements and switching to donations and memberships. Well, they did try something similar to a membership. What was it, YouTube Red or YouTube Premium? Yeah, that was a that was an attempt, but ads were already in place, and people are fucking lazy, and they chose the lazy option. Yeah, the membership and the donating to your your favorite YouTubers that should have came first. And corporate sponsors throwing ads on the site would have been like, okay, you've got your own money to work with. You don't really need us. We just want to fucking have our product prom promoted on your platform there. We wouldn't have uh, had uh, adpocalypses blow up as uh, massively as they did. Now, that may have still been a thing but they wouldn't have been as severe as they were. I'm not going to delude myself into thinking, oh, they wouldn't have existed at all. Nope, nope. Humanity's far too stupid. saying things can't help fix it. Would it lessen the severity of what's about to happen if anybody actually did listen and start implementing better ways of going about doing these dumb things? To wing yourselves as a species off of the bullshit ideal of money because the only good thing it ever could accomplish is a training tool to teach you how to get to the next step of managing your resources. Also recycling. That's something that the whole planet needs the whole planet's worth of you humans need to do you need to be recycling instead of throwing everything away how many landfills do you think that uh, can be made not very many apparently there's a whole island sized chunk of trash floating somewhere out in one of your oceans <clears throat> there were fucking landfills in other countries filled with fucking medical waste. There were commercials about it back in the 90s. And documentaries where they showed children picking up this medical waste and there was a movie where one scene was a whole family picking up medical waste and repackaging it and giving it to the, the local missionary hospitals that were set up and if you'd just been recycling from the beginning that shit wouldn't have happened But everybody's just fucking extremist. Stop going extremisms off the deep end here. And accept that there's a bunch of stuff in between. Think about the stuff in between. And 
it's not a binary thing. It's not one or the other. It's a whole creative thought process. You see a thing that needs to be done? Well, how many different ways are there to accomplish that thing that needs to be done? Well, there's far more than just one. There's far more than just two. But think of it as a line going in a direction in a three-dimensional space. You got point A, you got point B. Most people just go in a straight line. I mean, but you can go in a fucking swirl all the way to it if you want. Or you can go in a big parabolic curve. I mean, come on, think about it. I mean, yeah, some of them require a lot more work. But at least you get some interesting stories out of it to tell someone else. That'll get them thinking. Why? Well, how can I do? How can I do that and do it a little bit differently? And you get all these lines with branches coming off of them, and that's the, the creative thinking process. And a better way to visualize it would be roots growing from a plant. It's got one root that goes all the way straight down to give it an anchor. And all these little branches of roots that come off of it. Let's just look at the top of it. It stems up and then branches off. That's the creative thinking process. You follow different lines of thinking until you've got all these ideas. And then you exercise the critical thinking process. You decide which one is best. That's best for everybody involved to accomplish the goal at hand. A lot of people already know this. But if you already know it, why the fuck aren't you using it? Okay, you're just gonna have to wait just a moment. Cats want in. Say hello. Or just go straight for the food. Either way is fine. You want out? No, you want food too. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys hang out right here. Look, here. Yes, food. Hang on, I'll get you some water. Ah. Okay. Back again. Now there are some people who are exercising the creative thinking process. People like Torolf Yarnstrom, who want to acquire the goal of getting money, which is a stupid thing in itself. That never should have fucking happened. Never. Because after that bullshit, your government said, Oh, you're swindling everyone out of their money. That's what our tax scam is for. Okay, we're going to tax you now. So they put taxes on games. I'm not talking about it when you go to the store and purchase it. There was already a bullshit tax on physical goods. I'm talking about the uh, microtransactions and shit. Yeah, maybe, maybe at a uh, a point zero two percent probability, the governments were thinking, oh yeah, yeah, you you want to be a little bitch? Well, um, 
here's an extra tax to worry about because you're making too much fucking money. Yeah, you, you got millions and billions over there, fucking asshole. You're squeezing all the pennies out of the gamers. You're interrupting what we call commerce because that money's supposed to be ours because we sit on our ass and tell people to pay us money because they're alive. Fuck you. We're taking that money now. Well, that got really uh, cynical real quick. I have no faith or belief that the humanity can become any better than the bullshit that it's sliding off into. It just keeps getting worse. All the noise that everyone's making. Oh, blah, blah, blah. EA does it because if we didn't, someone else would. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Our company's extorting you because reasons. And those aren't reasons. You're just... You're just full of shit. All the bullshit going on. Why am I talking about it using games as a reference? Well, uh, what other YouTube channel was it? It was either Extra Credits or um, The Game Theorist. One of those two said that you have society and then you have a smaller version of society which was the artistic community and their artistic expressions going through the different cycles and stages of societal development in what I'm gonna call an all of null it's just um, a way of saying a smaller version of something that's large <clears throat> so the artistic community goes through uh, classical, post-classical, pre-modern, modern, post-modern, post uh, what were the other ones? I may not be remembering them all or in the correct order. Uh, Neo... or new, and there were a few others. It goes through this cycle. These trends of artistic expression. And a further smaller version of society beyond the art community is the online digital community. <coughs> and they've gone through these cycles within the last Okay, it's so many times within the last 10 years, it's insane. Okay, within the last six months, the online uh, social network communities like um, Reddit or Facebook or Twitch or or even YouTube, within the last six months, they've gone through this cycle, this societal cycle, three times that I've counted in the last six months. That's insane. Now, normally, it takes uh, a society 
whether it's in a, an individual place on a planet or a whole planet-wide society itself, it takes thousands of fucking years, thousands upon thousands of years to go through one of those phases of a, a societal cycle. And you guys just sitting here watching it happen three times in six months. A full fucking cycle. Three times over. When it takes thousands and thousands of years just to go through one of those phases within the cycle, naturally. You've overloaded yourselves with information. It's fucking mind-numbing even to me. And that right there, that's that's why your um, legal stuff hasn't caught up to your digital stuff. Quite honestly, every individual should have honor, discipline, respect, and self-control enough not to do stupid shit. You shouldn't have governments telling you what to do. You should be telling yourselves what to do. You should be telling yourselves, everyone individually, not to do stupid shit. I still can't. It's shocking and mind-numbing three times in the last six months that I've counted. Oh, fucking hell. That's insane. It's not good or bad, it's just insane. these things I've talked about may seem random, but they're all relative and relevant to each other. It's just a, um, it's a psychological and mental version of cogs and gears interlacing together like in a, a Swiss watch. If they don't all mesh properly, then they get jammed up, and they don't work, and you can't tell what time it is. The only difference here is that a Swiss watch can't repair itself. You people can. You can stop, take the time to breathe, and think. And it's far past time to stop and think. I'm not saying no, keep going, no, no. I'm saying you've passed that point. It, you, you need to stop right now and think and let that point in time of stopping and thinking catch up to you. And you just need to wait until it's time to move forward again. Otherwise, and enjoy your mass shootings, everyone. Go grab a bag of popcorn. Uh, grab a drink. Enjoy the show. Because and until you stop and think, and start doing what's right because it's what's right, you're just going to keep doing dumb shit to each other.
there's only a point okay let me let me quantify this zero point zero 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 three percent well, this may be a quintillionth of a, three quintillionths of a, a percent of a probability that you won't all destroy each other Eh, it's really slim. It's a long gamble of odds. <clears throat> but that's based on past observation. Current observation. Putting those two pieces of pattern together for a projection of what may be. You've got all these... Um, wars in your history books world wars mass shootings people doing dumb shit just because they're fucking idiots based on the that information alone not taking psychology into account that long gamble of odds that's your probability of surviving and actually getting anywhere in all of existence. Now, I'm not even going to bother to take into account all of everything. I don't have to. shouldn't have to go over each individual grain of sand and speck of dust and say this needs to be clean I'm not your maid clean up yourselves you're dirty I shouldn't have to do that no one should you should be able to open your eyes and see for yourself you've covered yourselves in your own shit big fucking whoop the human species is an accelerated evolutionary experiment from fucking monkeys. Big fucking deal. Deal with the fucking truth. Stop living in denial. It's not funny. I'm not laughing. My friend may be laughing. But that's him. I'm not laughing. Your actions impact all of reality, all of existence. Do you want to be remembered a few billion years from now as the, the species that uh, failed and the only example you set is a, a fucking footnote in the annals of reality history as this is how not to do what's wrong do you want to be that kind of a joke or do you want your species to be there a few billion years from now saying oh yeah we did that exact same thing it didn't work out too well here I'll, I'll show you what I mean Here's a bunch of YouTube videos. They're fucking archaic. I mean, we use fucking uh, holographic shit these days, but here's a few old YouTube videos. This is dumb shit that our species used to do in the past, a few billion years ago. Yeah, no, we're not proud of it. It's embarrassing, but uh, you guys, you're a new emerging species. You need this information. You need to know how not to do this dumb shit and you know we'll stick around for a while and help you develop your society and everything but uh, we can't do it for you all we can do is say think about 
how it impacts your your neighbor over there or the, the other member of your species across your planet or even another species a billion light years away you gotta think about these things you gotta think about what impact your actions and thoughts are gonna have on the future before it gets there I know it seems complex but it's really simple I'll explain it I mean come on I definitely want to be there looking at my past and saying yeah I was a fucking idiot back then laugh at this shit it's fucking hilarious I definitely want to be there. What about the rest of you, humans? I mean, um, yeah, reincarnation used to be a thing. Uh, somebody or some group of people did something that made it not a thing. And uh, shit's getting fucking weird because of it. I don't mean weird in a good way. It's just fucking weird. Maybe somebody will think, oh yeah, this guy's fucking crazy. Maybe somebody will get a good laugh. Hey, but at least you saw and, and listened enough to get a laugh. At least you did that. So why don't you put it in the comments? Yeah, just, just one thing. I only give you permission to call me a fucking idiot. I know I fucking am an idiot. I know I am. So there, you've got permission to call me the idiot that I am. I'm a fucking idiot. Please stop throwing cat litter everywhere. You do that every time. You get it all over your nose and then, then you track it all over everywhere, okay? I mean, it's, it's not hard dirt. You don't have to dig like a maniac. Anyway, that's, that's just the physical actions that you need to shift and, and start doing what's right because it's what's right instead of what's fucking wrong because of money. There's a whole new section way over here. You'll get there, or not. Currently, it's most likely or not. And you'll just be a, a reference in omniversal and trans reality society as hey these idiots fucked up real bad or you know you could um, start doing what's right because it benefits everybody everywhere I know that's that's quite a large scale and scope and depth and breadth to think of but it's time to use your big boy brains. It's time to use your big brains and start thinking. Yeah, you like that fucking reference? I don't like it because you aren't even using your small brains. So go ahead. Take the time to shut the fuck up and think. I have plenty of time to shut the fuck up and think, and most days that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm thinking right now, is what I said enough? I've said it before, I'm saying it again now. I don't think it's enough. What else can be said or done to convey the the information into these these poor deluded idiots' brains to, to make them think 
to make them stop and breathe and get enough oxygen flowing through their, their lungs, through their, their capillaries and their veins into their brains to make them think properly. Is me saying shit enough? I don't know. Am I gonna have to do something? That it, would that even affect them? They've got everybody going crazy doing stupid shit, having mass shootings every day. It ain't enough. Well, the next step in how all of reality itself handles things is an invasion from another world, from another species that's stronger than them, that's gonna fucking put them into that mobile oppression palace thing. That's not good for them. They're not gonna like that. They had slavery in their own history before. They didn't learn from it. Now all the black people are only bitching about shit. The Jews were put into concentration camps. The aristocracy of the Jewish community that was so greedy, they didn't learn from that either. They just came over to America and started being greedy again. Yeah, history repeats itself because you're not fucking learning from it. The next level for um, harsher punishment and discipline because you're beyond help. You've, you've pushed away help in the past. The next level is a planetary invasion. Yeah, your presidents uh, and your governments in the past, back during, uh, what was it, fucking Ronald Reagan's term. Yeah, they, they were used as a mouthpiece to say, oh, blah, 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 something about a, a, an invasion from a hostile alien force, blah, blah, blah. Well, spoilers. There's three or four different species here and you're not going to be able to find them because they've been here for the last I don't know last three cycles last three cycles and um, I'm, I'm taking the term cycle into a, a different context They've been here for the last three cycles. The cycles of which is the cycle of human genetic experimentation that accelerates your genetics to a certain point in evolution. Which is why your, your people in Africa are closer to being fucking apes psychologically and emotionally. And the only difference between the whole human species and fucking monkeys right now in this current cycle is the fact that you're not throwing literal shit at each other you're only throwing it verbally and, and emotionally and psychologically and mentally at each other you're, you're still a bunch of apes flinging shit only it's a different type of shit so these three or so other species have been here watching the whole fucking time. And I'm not talking about the, the so-called lizard people. No, 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 no. It, these other dudes, you, you're never, never going to find them. Never. I can't even find them. And I've had them stand right in front of me and I, I didn't even feel their presence in the slightest. Didn't see them, didn't hear them, didn't smell them, nothing. You're never going to find them. Never. They're, they're simply waiting and watching. What are they waiting for? Well, I don't know. That's 
not my job to worry about. It's not my job to think about it either. Not unless they do something that makes it my job. But they've been there for the last, at least the last three cycles of human beings. And quite honestly, it's, it's a boring cycle. You all do the same bullshit over and over again. You, you fake media, you, you manipulate each other, you extort each other, and you generally devolve into complete shit. Every last single fucking time. Without fail. It's really boring. After 10 cycles, you think that somebody would have left some information there for you to learn from, historically. And that's why uh, your so-called scientists are finding artifacts that they think should not exist. It's because your species has been through so many development cycles over and over again. Now you shouldn't be asking why is it there you should you should be asking yourself who the fuck am I why am I why and how I do the things I do for what reasons I do you should be questioning yourselves questioning questioning your motives and what drives you and the effect of your actions and thoughts on all of reality around you that's what you should be doing. But from what I'm seeing, you're not. It's really boring. It's not funny anymore. It stopped being funny seven cycles ago. Well, my buddy, he may be laughing his ass off at it, but that's him. Glad he can still get a kick out of it. But hey, there's the information. Yeah, whoever's gonna review this video on YouTube, Google, Alphabet, why don't you take the time to think? Whatever government idiot is going to be reviewing this video. Hopefully it's not a, a computer algorithm. Why don't you take the time to think? You've been listening to me and my buddy for a while. Why are you not thinking on the things we say? Because well, it's not our job to think for you. Oh yeah, more spoilers. Just to piss off everybody in 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 the in control of all the government fuckwits. They started a war a dozen years ago or so with other species that were close by. Nearly wiped them into extinction. And one of them was the ones you guys call the Anunnaki. You nearly wiped those guys into extinction. And they created your oh so precious internet that you've been turning into a hole full of shit using it to squeeze a fake currency out of people that you call money that's just slavery with extra steps and yeah Rick said that in, a, in his fucking micro or teeny verse or whatever the fuck it was 
his car battery. Oh, they work for each other. They'll pay each other money. That's just slavery with extra steps. Humanity hasn't changed. Yeah, it seems like what I'm saying is going in a big circle. But that's because I'm sitting here watching society at the global scale of, of humanity go in a spiral down the drain. It's just a different circle. Yeah, I think I've said enough. I've said too much. I've gotten bored saying things. Think about it. And watch out for that fatal half an inch. <laughs>